Guys, this is it, what you've all been waiting for. I know we have drawn out the surprise, so I really hope you're not disappointed because we're super excited about it and super excited to show you. It's a part two thing, so we're gonna show you part one first. I think you're really gonna like it. Toby likes it. Yes, Toby grumpy. likes Toby it. Toby and so. I aren't morning people. He's kind of grumpy right now, I'll be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I think you guys are gonna like it. The hurricane uh, kind of messed it up, permits kind of messed it up, things kind of messed it up. You know how life works, but finally it's here and we get to show you. All right, let's go show them the first part to it. You gotta show them. Come on. Do you see this bad beep behind us? This is Toby's new cage, 30 feet long, 12 feet wide, 10 feet tall. We were gonna make it taller, then I realized I'm only four foot ten. I don't know why I thought I could make it taller. And I'm scared of heights. I hate being on ladders. So we could only do a 10 feet tall. We constructed this all by ourselves, no help of anyone else. We're getting pretty good at constructing cages. It took us like 200 plus man hours. The hurricane kind of messed it up, but we didn't. We were so excited to have Toby to run around in a cage that is ginormous and he could get his energy out. Maybe lose a couple pounds, you know, because we like to Netflix and chill and eat some snacks, okay? The best part is we have a tunnel that goes from this outdoor cage into a room with an indoor cage. It's not a huge indoor cage, but enough where Toby can get some AC, you know, take a little nap, watch some TV, like I just said we like to do. You know, South Florida is hot, baby. All right. So let's show you the inside. It's the love of my life. Rhett's the side piece. Oh, bumped my head like I always do. Okay guys, so it's already kind of a mess in here. We couldn't wait. We had to get Toby in this cage. And monkeys are messy. They're dirty. They poop wherever they want to. They spill their food. They don't care. There was grass in here, but from the hurricane, it kind of turned into a mud pit. Can't complain if that's our only damage is we lost grass, right? Yeah, it was so beautiful in grass, but you know what? It'll be nice and grassed again pretty mm -hmm. soon. Brett got really mad at me because I wanted to spend money on toys. Toby loves tunnels. He loves running through tunnels, so I don't care what Let's Brett not says. tell them how much this stupid tunnel I don't care costed. What Brett says I am two hundred and fifty dollars. I know most of you probably have kids. Kids are expensive, aren't they? Come with me. Toby's already broke the banana that we planted. It's been like two days. This slide, I don't even want to tell you how much this slide cost. But the when I was a kid, these were like $10. But the slide works because then Toby could climb up the rope onto the walkway. From the hurricane, it knocked down a few trees, so we were able to take those big old limbs and put them in here. And now we've got these beautiful branches in here that go to? The crate. One of our plans for this is to create kind of like a jungle in here. So we've got strawberry guavas, we got cocoa plums, both fruits that Toby absolutely loves. Toby likes to splash his hands in water. You know, he never likes dirty hands. AK, I like to spend money on toys. That was $7. Tunnel. How cool is that? How cool is that? Okay, right, so you could see here, just cause some of you might care. So we did this really small half inch by half inch 16 gauge wire just to keep out any rattlesnakes, especially baby rattlesnakes, uh, pythons of pretty much all sizes, any rodents, no birds can get in, and so that way Toby can't kill them and eat them, because he will. <laughs> Frogs can still get in, but no large cane toads can get in, so that's good. And then this chain link is nine gauge wire that FWC does approve of, because they have certain cage requirements. And then we did the two-way access door, legally for FWC. And by the way, this wire alone cost about three grand. Yeah, this cage is expensive, but we tried our best to give Toby and all our little monkeys awesome lives. First part of the surprise is done. I really hope you guys are as excited as me. I think we're super excited because we had to build this cage and we're so happy with the way it turned out. And we hope you guys are really impressed by it too. Should we make them wait another week? For yeah, I think so. Toby, too? come over here. Know. You get Toby and we'll, we'll go show him the other surprise. <laughs> all right. So are you ready for surprise two? <gasps> Who is this? Who is this? Kaylee! Kaylee! <sighs> That's why the camera's been so shaky while we're filming. She is jumping all over my head, pulling my hair out. And uh, here it is. This is our baby girl, Kaylee. Ah, Kaylee. Fix your hair. <laughs> she made it a mess. She, I'm, I'm just going with it. I'm going with it. This is monkey hair. Kaylee is a four-year-old black cap capuchin, a little bit of different subspecies than Toby. He's a Brazilian toasted. We acquired Kaylee a few months ago 
because her owners, even though they loved her, they had unforeseen circumstances and they did uh, feel it was in her best interest. They had to health issues. Her. Yeah, health issues. And thankfully they found us and they thought we'd be a great home because they see how good we are with Toby. And so we're super grateful for that. <laughs> <It's> not. <laughs> hold on. We're getting beat up by two monkeys right now. Let me get this to where I can hold it a little better. There we go. Woo! <laughs> okay, crazy monkeys. Look at her. Look, oh, she's ready to play. Fine. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll jump real quick. Do one jump. One jump, Kaylee. Kaylee, Kaylee come on, we'll do one already jump. Kaylee is a daddy's girl. Tell me you can see it. I'm good. Oh! Woo! Woo! Oh, 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 sand all over. All right, ready? Jump, jump back. All right, one more. Look, <laughs> one more, one more. Okay. All right, there we go. She loves to do that like 20 times a day. Yeah. She jumps, runs up, jumps back, and we throw her in the air, and then she smiles and laughs. She is just more high energy than yeah. Toby is. Toby is nine years old. Kaylee is four. So Toby's, you know, like a 20-year-old man. He doesn't want to play as much. He's like a little kid, but they get along. He thinks he's too cool for school most of the time. Yeah. She Look at her jump in the background. She is so excited. <laughs> But it's been a slow progress with Kaylee as it is with any rehome animal, especially a capuchin, because they're such intelligent, uh, emotional creatures. So, you know, you can't really just throw them to new people after all these years and it's just going to work out great in the first five minutes. The first two weeks with Kaylee were pretty good. She liked us pretty much right away. We were playing, but it was kind of like, oh, I'm at a friend's sleepover party. And then yeah. I think, you know, she kind of missed her owners there for a minute. <laughs> Uh, which is pretty common and then you know her and Toby they had to learn how to work around each other as they've both been only monkeys and but <laughs> in their household for years even though Toby's been around other capuchins he's never lived with that's one. Kaylee by the way yeah the that's one, Toby's just sitting here we've learned me. that people have had trouble telling the difference between Kaylee and Toby when they come over this is Toby he's got the longer hair and, and the he's more blonder blonder Kaylee is the little crazy one jumping around she is completely settled in she's so happy right. she's long... done way better than I think Toby would have done if we not that we would rehome him but if we ever did rehome him for some reason <laughs> Monkey. She's done so much Ooh. better. She's such a good monkey. She's never shown aggression or anything. Just, you know, scared, confused, maybe a little sad because it's a new home, but she's doing great. You can see how comfortable she is with us, how happy she is with us, and that just like warms our heart so much. But we're here for it. We plan on keeping her forever, no matter how long it takes to fully gain her trust. We're here gain for it. Gain her trust a lot. Yeah. As you can see, she is the sweetest little happiest girl. Uh, it has been don't know. She smacks the camera sometimes. Yeah, I tried to. Red always said, oh, Toby's such a destructive monkey. And we got like another monkey. And he's like, oh, I guess Toby's not that bad. So yeah, that's the thing is she's young, she's hyper and she just breaks everything. We're getting, we're getting whooped up. Oh, the yeah. camera's all over the place. It's, I can't bring the gimbal in because she'll, she'll go after bad. the gimbal. Toby's still good with that. We have a lot of learning to do. Remember, we have had Toby for 10 years. Well, nine. Nine and a half. Yeah. I got Toby when he was like four weeks old and I've had him for nine and a half years. So we have grown up together. We have learned how to communicate with each other. We've all learned each other. Cause even Brett's been in Toby's life for the last seven and a half years. Crazy little monkey. Oh my God, this girl beats me up. She is so happy and she loves Toby and Toby loves her. Yeah, it's so cute seeing Toby like be able to play with another little monkey when he wants and they groom each other. So I know it's been a long wait to see her surprise and maybe it isn't as exciting as you thought it would be. I, don't I know. think it's exciting that we added a new monkey to the troop. What are you so, talking about? Now we have six, but we don't like to just show off our new family members like a lot of other people on YouTube do just because we don't, they're already scared and stressed out. We don't want to throw a camera in their face and try to like make this whole dynamic work we kind of just want to settle them in all of us get comfortable together and then that way we could bring the camera in and show you guys her and have more of an update not just like oh we got this monkey cool you could see how comfortable she is she's not stressed out with us in here with the camera in here and all of that we try to work on the animals time and limits more than our own before anyone asks kaylee is spayed and toby is neutered so no babies here for two reasons they are both spayed and neutered one, we don't want to contribute to the pet monkey world. Monkeys don't make good pets. No. And a lot of people impulse buy monkeys and- Because they are super cute. But as I've been in the monkey community and owning monkeys for all these years, I realize they really aren't good pets because 
they can turn mean. You'll never be able to mimic the wild for them. They're just so intelligent, so emotional, so human-like, but yet still wild animals. People think they're like dogs. You can just take a monkey, put it in, you know, a cage, and it just sits there. They need to be mentally stimulated 24-7. They need to be with you or another monkey 24-7. Emotional attachment is massive with monkeys. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't stress that enough. So we do not want to contribute to breeding monkeys and them going into potentially bad homes and also, you know, like it's a long commitment for a monkey. Yeah. So these um, capuchins can live up to 50 years. So literally, hopefully we'll have them to well into our 70s or so. They're also spayed and neutered because it devalues them as breeders and people mm -hmm. are less likely to steal them mm -hmm. if they cannot breed them back together and make more monkeys. Their value is pretty much close to zero at this point. Come here, so our goal is to give them the oh. best lives possible. <laughs> Saved you. Uh, best lives, oh my gosh, best lives possible. We've uh, brought in two new monkeys that needed homes this last year. Uh, we've thought about maybe building more cages and set up more things for primates that need homes. Yeah. Contemplating making a monkey sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Hey, no more talking. Yeah. Let's get to playing around and show you how extra cute Kaylee can be. You wanna play? Oh, oh she, she took my hat. Wow, Kaylee. Uh-oh. Oh, we're doing it. <laughs> Crazy girl. Gotcha. <laughs> Ready, let's go. Whoa. Mm. Oh, we're jumping today, not throwing. Okay. I'll get you over here. <laughs> Toby's like, nah. Wow. Wow. Woo! That's just her excited play face. <laughs> you give us a smile? Okay. Some of you are married to crazy cat ladies. I'm married to a crazy monkey lady. Kaylee loving her kisses. She's... She's been bonding to us so much the last couple months. We do kisses and hugs. Look how sweet Kaylee is. She just came over. Hi, Kaylee. A form of bonding or a way of bonding with primates is grooming. That's a huge thing is, you know, if they think we're looking for bugs and they think we're, whoa, girl, whoa. Already learning Toby ways, spreading it. But grooming them and them trusting you enough to lay on their back and show their belly and Okay. Oh, I'm so sandy. Ah, don't eat my hair. I'm gonna be bald. Pickpocketer. Oh, wait. She can just have it. What is it, a wrapper? Yeah. Always check your pockets before you go into a cage with a monkey. Always check your pockets. You would think Rhett would know that by now. I've checked mine like eight times. <sighs> Monkeys. They're too much sometimes. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed meeting Kaylee, our new family member. You're going to see more and more of her uh, in the weeks to come. And uh, we are going to see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And let us know if you were as excited about the surprises as we were to share them with you. All right. See you guys later. Bye.